Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Nuclear Throne Ultra. We are jumping in again and we're going to try out another modded character. I'm not quite sure which one I'm going to go for here. We have quite a few to go for. We unlocked Hands as well as Angel in the last episode. So let's take a look at what Hands does. Higher chance for inverted portals. Inverted portals heal two and pull in chests and enemies. Let's give that a go. Why not? Hand sounds interesting. Pull in chests and enemies. We also start with what looks to be Rusty Sawn Off Shotgun. Okay. Okay, we can like punch enemies essentially. Okay, that is um <laughs> that is an interesting ability, I've gotta say. I mean it's pretty good against weak guys, but against big guys, don't know how valuable that's gonna be. I suppose with with a shotgun it's pretty good. You can like line them up, but you gotta be gotta kinda time it right, otherwise you're just gonna end up pulling him straight towards yourself and getting killed. Kind of interesting though. And yeah, the higher chance for inverted portals is always nice. Good, good, good. Got level 2 straight off the bat. Um, we'll go with the alien testing, because that means that when I, whenever we grab an enemy, we also light them up with... Uh, oh god, this rusty thing is pretty bad. I mean, I kind of expected it to be, but even worse than I expected. Assault pistol, we'll go for that. Uh, but yeah, when we pull enemies in, we also destroy them all with tentacles, which I think is pretty goddamn nice. Okay, no inverted portals thus far. We'll see when they start showing up. That's kind of nice. Yeah, that's always going to promote me to use my ability a lot more than I normally do. Cause, like I said, I'm, I'm the sort of person that forgets to use my abilities much. And having an alternate way to deal damage from my ability is pretty good. No, it did take some damage there, but it's fine. I'm really not used to not having a teleport now, though. Our last episode we played as Atom, and I got really, really used to the mobility of having that teleport. It was super, super useful. Go with Scarier Face here, of course. We can go Pizza Sewers this time as well. We do have the um, the explosives necessary to do exactly that. Where are we going here? Go loop around by the looks of it. Trying to find an area to use our... Uh, Alien intestine where we're going to get the most damage, most bang for our buck, but right now it's all single enemies. Here we go. That's somewhere to use it where we're going to get a lot out of it. I like the fact that it doesn't open until you open it, so you can still go and get your uh, all your other stuff, and then you can go in and open it up. Um, I guess we'll go with Rabbit's Paw for the extra drops. Try to be careful with the grenade launcher here. So I don't really know if there's anything I'm supposed to do with this other than grabbing the golden screwdriver. The fact that you can unlock that for every character this way is very, very nice. It's a very good path to take. God. The longer you leave it, the, the more it does. It's so nice on that thing. But yeah, guaranteed golden screwdriver there is super, super nice. Quite powerful. I like the fact that it's cursed, though, so that if you do take it on that run, you can't drop it. Right, let's get everything away from the, the golden car for a minute. Mini plasma gun. Not die to this guy. Dude! Let's not die to this guy, he says, as he instantly dies to um, the little fish that's left. But now we can actually go in and select um, our golden screwdriver here, which I'm imagining is going to end up being the starting weapon early on for a lot of characters, because as soon as we access pizza sewers, we have access to a golden uh, screwdriver. But it makes things really, really nice for us, because um, starting with melee is always better because it's infinite ammo. Uh, it helps out quite a lot. And on top of that, Always being able to go to the um, YV's mansion to get different golden weapons is going to be very, very nice. As well as progressing the uh, the chain of st uh, stages you've been to to get better drops. Quite nice. Um, push enemies instead. Your hand deals more damage. Okay, that seems incredibly useful. Oh, yes. Okay. That's, that, that's what the hand should be doing. It's basically just a fist at this point. This with impact wrists could be really fun. This is this is good. I like this. Take the jawbreaker here. 
Just a nice little love tap. Also, the knockback is very nice, too. That's why I say impact wrists might be really good. Because being able to, like, double knockback enemies seems pretty fun. And knockback them into each other as well. Sounds even more fun. Oh, dude, as if you hit me, then. Let's not get killed by a maggot, shall we? I can use the boss to, like, dig through walls. That's kind of funny. <laughs> I can force him into walls just dig with him. Um, do, 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 do. What do we want to go for here? Let's go with Fair Stomach. I don't go for that very often. Um, and the extra heals can be super, super valuable. So, the, the fist will just destroy the walls that it passes through. So, if I get an enemy in the right location, I can destroy quite a lot of walls with it. Like this. We got... Oh, no, 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 no. There was a grenade revolver there. God damn it, I wanted that. Boom. Got to be more careful about getting hit here. But at the minute, the fist is still doing a very, very good job of taking out all the enemies. And the fact, like I said, that it can cut through walls as well makes it way more valuable. Because it means I can kind of carve through the land and make myself some space. Get rid of those fire sh shooters as well. That's very nice. You don't get to do that very often. Into the car we go. Triple blood rifle I didn't manage to grab there. Um... The pulling with Gamma Guts would be pretty good if you don't have Thrum, but, but we'll go for Rhino Skin for now for the safety. We'll see how this fares against uh, these enemies. Okay, it's going to take at least three hits to kill the big guys, which isn't a great, great amount. Okay. Rocket Boys are certainly the most risky of the enemies. Luckily, those guys do, like, fuck all damage. I need to remember I can punch and shoot at the same time. Probably give you the best way to, to go forward with this. Golden Sledgehammer. Nice. Golden Sledgehammer's great. Good stuff. More golden stuff unlocked. Um, Impact Wrists, as I said, is going to be fun with this. I'm going to try that out. I love the range on that fist, it's crazy. You can't use it unless there's an enemy though, which is the only downside, but it would be a little overpowered if you could, because then you could just destroy any wall that you wanted at any time. <laughs> just literally shoving enemies into one another. Slash shotgun. Yeah, nice and easy. Slash shotgun's pretty goddamn good. But here we are. Got a console here. I can't remember how we activated that console last time. We definitely did something with it. Maybe it's after I've beaten the stage. Nice. <laughs> the, the fact that I'm able to push the turrets away is pretty funny. Considering they're stationary. I don't go through there yet. Explosive slugger, I'll take. No thank you, no thank you. Aw, oh, I'm stuck. Damn it! Ah, oh, fuck. Every time. I, I goddamn killed it as well. That's so annoying. Ugh. But yeah, the, the, the push versus the grab is way better. I think I'll be taking the uh, throw and butt for this guy pretty much whenever it shows its face. Because it seems really goddamn good. Like, this doesn't even destroy walls. Like, come on now. Not even destroying walls? How dare you? That is my signature style. 
I guess I'll take a Toxic Revolver. I might as well. Ooh, we got an, finally we got an inverted portal, which we've been kind of waiting on. Um, what we got going on here? Slower enemy bullets. Short amount of invincibility when we get hit. Let's go for that. This is pretty useful. With this guy, I just double click because I'm always using my hand and my weapon at the same time. I think that's going to be uh, like the best way to use this guy. Now, be careful of this dude because he will fire explosive shots that will pass through walls and potentially kill me. I'm being a little cautious here because I am using a, um, a poisonous weapon. Bouncer crossbow, we'll take that instead maybe. And we'll go with shotgun blast on it as well. Lovely. Oh, I'm definitely getting hungry. I need to go for lunch after this. Hopefully. You're going to be a nuisance just because of the amount of explosives you fire. Which, as you can see, is an incredibly high amount. But you luckily have the exact same HP as the regular boss, so you're not that much harder. Oh, we are slightly overhealed as well here. I didn't even realise. Um... I'm going to have a puffy cheeks here for the preemptive extra reloads. Always got to be careful to not accidentally destroy that car the moment we get to the stage. Ooh, I really like the uh, the bouncer crossbow. Especially with the shotgun modification on it. It's pretty goddamn good. Good. Use me fire. Beautiful. Um, let's take Alkaline Saliva. We haven't taken that much recently. That's pretty good. Where's the thing where we sacrifice our, our weapon mod? So I want to give that a go and see what that does. Because I don't think I've tried that out yet, have I? I might try it out in the first episode, maybe. Or second episode. I don't remember. I don't think I've tried it, though. Kraken Gun. Kraken Guns are very fun. They do drag enemies towards you, so you got to be a little careful. They're generally pretty good. There it is. Ah, bugger! For some reason, I didn't think it was going to open a portal. I definitely have done this before. I didn't think it was going to open a portal, so... I've stood right on top of it, and... Of course, as you can clearly see now... Oh, dude, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that area is insane. Right, we can uh, go back and get a different golden weapon now, though, right? Yeah, we've got golden sledgehammer. That's amazing. Golden sledgehammer. One of the better melee weapons you can start with. Crossbow's nice to have early as well. Let's go straight through here, shall we? We've got, like, no XP coming into this, which is a shame, but... We do have an ability to kill. Oh, yeah, we definitely don't want to pull those guys in. <laughs> That was a mistake. Okay, crossbow one-shots these dudes, which is surprising. What weapon we got here? Just a shotgun. Damn it. Weapons on the stage aren't very good, are they? Okay. Now I'm in a tough spot. I've cursed both my weapons here and one of them doesn't have ammo anymore. I want that ammo, god damn it. Um I think I'm gonna have to go for scarier face here. Oh we got two level ups here actually. Um We'll go for the absorbing thing again. Melee in this area scares the goddamn hell out of me. But at the same time I feel like it's the best way to go. All these zombie guys. Certainly worrying. Cop, what are you doing in here? Just, just sort of passing by while I get ridiculously overwhelmed here. Yeah, there's still a boss that we've got to handle here somewhere. Frost machine gun. 
Considering that's their thingy, actually, I'll, I'll take that. Oh my god. Frost weapons are just really strong. Dude, no! Okay, we know better now. We know better. It's okay. In we go. I like going through this area. It's, it's just a lot, a lot tougher, but like a, a pretty good challenge. Oh my god. Unfortunately, I have to say, I don't think this guy's ability is very useful unless you get thrown, but... Don't touch that yet. Gotta remember I can knock shots back with melee weapons, because I'm missing out here. Oh my god. I need a better weapon before I attempt that boss. My god, that boss is so hard. Anything that fires those explosive shots is going to be something that can take me out pretty quickly. Good. I think the mouth will look close by now. Yeah, it has. Unfortunately, you got to get to that thing with some speed. Otherwise, uh, you're not going to do too well. Rabbit's paw, I'll take. I can go through here, though, if I want to. Yep. And I'll do the same thing on this stage where it just starts the boss fight early. Nice. Don't quite want to go through there yet. I'd rather get my um, my rad canister first, wherever that is. If I've not got it already, that is. I don't think I have to. Yeah, there you go. Jaw splitter, I'll take over that, I think. We'll do what we can here. Now, the green shots we can't knock back, but can at least destroy. <sighs> Do not get close to those guys with melee. That's not a good idea. Bullet popper is always fun. I'll take the bullet popper. Bullet popper with shotgun shoulders can be really goddamn good. Here we go. Shotgun shoulders, anyone? No. I never get that when I want it. Um... Go with Gamma Guts just in case, and there's shotgun shoulders. Let's let's give this a go. Just means the shots bounce a lot around a hell of a lot longer. Pop weapons with shotgun shoulders are always fun. Careful the lightning fellas, don't let them get close. Yo yo gun. Wasn't expecting that. And then impact wrists. Uh, da, 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 da. Two of rage. Oh, bugger. Thank god I have gamma guts because I walked right into that enemy. I thought he was already dead. Minigun this early is pretty good. Does use the same ammo as our other weapon, though, which isn't ideal. Minigun early is good. Um, regen some ammo on kill. It's not very good, but it's decent. Now, this thing's got low accuracy, but on a stage like this, I think that's actually better. God. really wish my hand was a little more useful. <laughs> My hand ability just doesn't really cut it this late into the game without it being the thrown butt version. But I, I kind of like that, that there's a thrown butt that actually is very impactful. A lot of them are okay, but don't do a huge amount. Director Slugger. Don't think we need that. Try and use the bullet pop of this floor and see which one takes the cake as the better, the better weapon. I think it'll be the minigun, honestly, but... The minigun is just so much more ammo hungry that doesn't really get the same accolades from me. Not quite as good. This thing is more ammo efficient, definitely. Beautiful. God. These little these little slime fellas here. Little snaky boys. My goodness, they are tricky. 
up to level 7 already. This is another thing I like about this mod and uh, the extra stage you can go to. You can level up pretty damn fast. Ammo's looking okay here. I'm gonna destroy that bad boy. Go straight through here. And then there's our throwing butt. So we could take throwing butt now. Um, we haven't taken scarier face yet, have we? No. Um, I could take glass arm. Now let's take the throwing butt and use that for a bit. Ion bomb. Okay, that's just like a click explosion. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Being able to click explode whatever I want. There's a fucking dude in the uh, in the fire there. Gotta be really careful here. Luckily, I, like I said, I can just kind of click wherever I want this to explode. It's just... Ammo consumption, as you can see, is a little tricky with this. Yeah, we got that guy. Oh, God. But it means I can sort of stay in safety and click. Although, actually, looking at it now, oh, my God, the damage on this thing is abysmal. <laughs> okay, maybe not what I thought it'd be. What the hell's going on with this? Yeah, so I'm in a pretty rough spot, actually, for weaponry here because the minigun is good, but ammo is kind of crazy on it. And my ion grenade thing is just not very good at all. Oh, what the f- He literally didn't even destroy the missile. Come on now. Damage the thing's doing is pretty pathetic. I'm really hoping we get some something good next stage here, but... Oh, we got our lightning crossbow back. That's nice. Obviously, we're using that prior. I did not like being up close and personal with that dude. It's the teapot boys that are difficult, firing all the rockets. Everything else is somewhat avoidable, but... Oh, dude, the teapots! Man, they're so tricky. They're so tricky. Right, give it another go. There you go. It's good if you can, like, enter it and not actually go into the portal straight away so you can still get some rads from the rest of the stage. And get a good weapon and stuff. We got an inverted portal over this way that I've just completely missed, unfortunately. Ooh. Deflecting the explosive shots there is probably a good way to kill a lot of these guys. Good. Ah, oh, bugger you, your explosive bullshit. Everything eats everything in this stage. They all eat one another. Obsidian throwing knife. I've not really used this before. Uh, oh, we accidentally destroyed the goddamn cursed skull. Not my intention. The obsidian throwing knife I'm interested in. I wonder if it could, like, get herming on it or something. <laughs> Be kind of insane. Uh, scary face again, of course, and yeah, I'll go with that. It doesn't have damage numbers because it's not in my hand when it hits the enemy, which is a little, like, concerning in terms of, like, just keeping track of things. It's only a rank 2 weapon, so I can't imagine it's that good, but it is killing things in a single hit, so it also can't be that bad. Some policia out here. Oh, you sneaky bastard. <laughs> I didn't see him. I didn't see him. We really need to get ourselves a... Uh, do you know what? Let's let's uh, go back to the menu and put our thingy on again. I really want to get a, a golden gun to start with. I think having a gun to start with is going to... Improve our abilities to do well by a good amount. Oh, 
We're going into the inverted area. Ooh, wait. Oh, it takes us to the inverted version of this area. Okay. This is probably where I'm going to die. Uh, because, for one, currently I have only a melee weapon. And for two, I don't really know what the inverted area here involves. But I imagine it's nothing fun. I mean, already... Yeah. <laughs> already, fighting those guys with no range is basically impossible. Oh my god. Dude, stop giving us screwdrivers when we already have one. That's just mean. So we can destroy rocks with this. Okay, this is a little better than I thought, because I can still destroy rocks with it even... Even though, um, it's not the other version. I'll, uh, oh, just about to crack that. God damn it. You gotta be quick. Dude, that's two screwdrivers in a row. I'm gonna take long arms just to make the screwdriver a little more palatable. That's bloody annoying is what it is. Bloody annoying. And then the other thing you give me is a goddamn shotgun. Come on now. I love the animation of this guy's walking. It's great. Beautiful. Nice quick kill at least. Then let's go with more fire it. Yeah. You see what I mean? Fire it affects this thing as well, so. Now I've got all this fire in this thing. It seems pretty goddamn amazing, actually. Snake gun. Ooh, that's kind of interesting. I can get behind snake gun. Oh, you can just hold it. Nice. That seems goddamn incredible. Ammo efficiency is a little, little tricky, but I'm going to go straight through here. I don't want to destroy that car and what they're about to. Nice. Get you. Ooh, nice bit of healing. Thank you, sir. Golden grenade launcher. I mean, it's explosive. That's kind of nice. <laughs> Not kind of what I was expecting, but there you go. Nice, we'll go back to the inverted area. The inverted one's always worth it if you can stand the stand up to the extra heat. And now I'll stick with my, my golden thingy. Um Sorry enemy bullets. Oh, it's an inverted version of this area. I thought it was gonna be the, the next area. Again, the inverted ones, a lot of them I, I just don't know how to handle, so. Apologies if I die in here. I'm hoping that because I've got good melee, quick melee, I should be able to get through this pretty easily by just spamming shoot so that I can destroy all the shots coming towards me. That's that's my current my current working theory. We've got a golden bouncer SMG, which I was not expecting, which is very nice as a starting weapon. We also got frost on our uh, on our bad boy here. Which I expect to be very, very good. Ever see people get this far with just a screwdriver, baby? The best way to play the game. Screwdriver earn, let's go. Okay, so it's sacrificing weapon mods that lets us through here. Yeah, I'll do it, why not? I need to try and actually beat this area, because it's a really, really rough area. Um, I don't know how well I'll fare, honestly, with um, with a screwdriver, because it doesn't destroy poison. Like, the, the, the bullets are the, are the main big baddie, 
But there is also a lot of poison, so... Oh, there's a fucking... Froggy boy there. Oh no, he got me. Anyways, I think we'll leave off the episode there. That was definitely a fun one, and we did unlock some good golden weapons there. Let's go back to the main menu real quick and see what we want to go for next. Also, in the last episode, I never actually checked out my bee skin of this guy. Oh, it's just a green one. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, But yeah, I'll uh, probably play as like Panda or something in the next episode. I'm going to try out some of the modded characters here, and then we can make our way back to the original cast. Either way, hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one.